Okay. Um, so yeah, here we are. Uh, we're going to be pulling for Eula today. I'm going to just keep calling her Eula until I figure out what her name is. Uh, I haven't seen any videos with her, funnily enough. Um, so yeah, we're going to pull for her. I'll probably talk about her in a little bit. Um, this will be kind of like a follow-up uh, or partially an, an affirmation to like the stuff I said in the, the preview of her. Um, yeah, so let's just... Uh, I got a bunch of summons to do, so we can do all kinds of stuff today. Um... Here's the daily summon. Apparently we're getting something... Four star. Let's see what we get here. Uh, Elio's knife. Well, it's in the storage. Actually, be right back. I have to go check the storage. Okay, so we are maxed out, so there's no problem at all. We can just summon. Um, let's, next we'll do... Do I have anything here? Nope. Next we'll do this Moonlight Summon. This is my monthly um, five bookmarks that they give you every month. Uh, let's see what this is. Um, Otili. Um, I feel like if they if they keep a better schedule, if they kept a better schedule of um, specialty changes, Otili probably would have had one already. But specialty changes don't exactly bring a lot of money, so no reason to. Um, here's this lineup, which is still kind of crap again. Bologna's here. Chiron is here. I'd probably go for Chiron over Bologna, just because SSB isn't that good, uh, and Bologna herself isn't really that good. But Chiron, well, he's not that good. Uh, he's got some, you know, he can do some stuff. He can pack a punch. Um, we'll do these first. I've got about 20 summons up there. Um, maybe I should just 10 pull them. Well, I already kind of screwed it up, didn't I? We'll try to go through them as fast as possible. So we're at 130 after, well, after this we should be like 150-ish, so one, 147 probably, and then three more over the course of whatever will be 150, uh, which means I'm 50 off and it probably takes a little over a month to get 50. Um, is this worth it? Probably not, just because for one, again, I really don't care about um, Commander Lilius, and by the time I get her, which will probably be like at the end of this rotation, um, we're probably going to have like ML, um, what's her name? ML Vivian come out and be like a weird hardcore Lilius counter or something like that. That'd be pretty funny. Um, and yeah, so like I said, we're not going to get anything out of this. We're just kind of banking on the pity system. So one, two, ooh, and three. We'll see if we get anything good. We got a rose, and that's it. So one, we're at 147. Uh, you can see there, I haven't bought any packs, so nobody can accuse me of whaling. Honestly, I just like, right now, like, I haven't even taken out Teyu. He's still in there, and all these other ones from last time. Uh, let's close this out. I should fix it. Um, so obviously, uh, I guess I'll just talk about the banners. Um, don't pull for Chloe. Uh, even if you want to run Maid Chloe, uh, having merges on Maid Chloe isn't really that good either. Uh, she does Maid Chloe does get a... Um, uh, effect resistance imprint which is pretty good because you can just stack a lot of effect resistance on her but even that it's not really worth it because for one May Chloe herself is just kind of like lackluster right now uh, and then regular Chloe here is kind of like I mean she's good at single target but she's not going to be as good as she's like nowhere near going to be as good as Cigarette so yeah <laughs> it's not there's no contest there um, this thing here increases damage dealt by 8% caster yeah, so this is uh, yeah, single attack damage increase with extra attack if they have a barrier specifically, which theoretically, obviously, it's supposed to be for Wyvern, but um, who cares? <laughs> um, it's just that, uh, what's that artifact? Daydream Joker is just so much easier to get and so much like more useful in the long run anyway. Uh, so here we are, we're, we're pulling for Yola. Um, like I said, man, she's got a huge forehead. I didn't notice that in the, uh, <laughs> in the original video. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about her stuff in a little bit, so... Uh, Gives her a lot of single target damage, which is not a lot, but like, you know, gives her about a uh, portrait of the savior's amount of single target damage. But because it's not, the thing with portrait is it boosts like AoE attacks, which is multiplying, basically turning that boost by four in terms of like total damage, multiplying it by four. And on top of that, it also scales with crit chance and crit damage and all that stuff, right? Whereas this, um, 
Oh, and they have to have a barrier to get this, which is that's a whole other like uh, level of like, well, this is kind of useless. Not use, not useless necessarily, but you know what I mean. Like, um, yeah, I, I can't. I, I don't remember this line being here the first time I read it, but I guess I just skimmed through it. But this already kind of invalidates this entire artifact, which nobody really thought it was good to begin with. So you know, take that as you will. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look at her her actual kit. Um, like I said, this artifact is already kind of useless. Because, like, I would rather take... Okay, so the barrier is fine. But the barrier is only there to survive, like, a Hua Young. Because otherwise, it's not helpful to her because she needs to get her HP down. Like, I don't under... I, I, whatever, who cares, right? Uh, not only that, but if she takes a Hua Young S3, that barrier is about to get removed, right? And then when she does her S3 back to her... You're not gonna like. You're not gonna kill her. And now, okay. The granted, the other thing is she puts her own barrier on with her S2. But like, who else is this useful for, right? Like, is this useful for Crow? Is it useful for, for who's it useful for? It's 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 odd. It's odd. It's like tailored specifically to her, and it's not even that good on her. It's like contradictory to a lot of what she's trying to do. It's mind-boggling to me. But anyway, like I said I'm getting getting kind of like antagonized for nothing. Um, so yeah, so let's talk about her again. Uh, the redirector provoke again. I, I watched some videos a little after I released my video. Um, unfortunately, I'm kind of late to these things, which kind of annoys me because then like other people release their videos and it looks like I'm copying them because I, re I watched like Mangle's video. He basically said everything I said in that video. Um, and I was just like, well, <laughs> there you go. Um, but the point being that, yeah, like I don't understand because he said every, well, yeah, he said everything I said and we both kind of came to the same conclusions independently, which I thought was interesting. But yeah, like, everyone who looked at this is equally as, like, confused. Like, what does redirected provoke? Why not just regular provoke? I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Is it just because they didn't want to step over, like, MLCC, who has 100% provoke on her S1? They're just like, oh, let's give her something else. I don't understand. It's, it's mind-blowing. Um, this, again, this S2... Um, Again, this isn't going to reflect nearly enough against the people it's useful for. Now, if it's AoE, absolutely it'd be great. But because it's only single target, whoever's going to focus you down to kill you, like whoever's going to single target her, this is irrelevant to them because they're just going to plow through her health bar like nothing. And again, we go back to Hua Young. Hua Young is the main person. This is, I guess, going to like... Hua Young is the only person who's going to take damage from this. Like, everyone else, no one else is going to focus... Eula, except for Hua Young, and Hua Young's just gonna stomp on her. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's whatever. Like I said, it's not designed. She's not designed to beat Hua Young. The point I'm making though is that she's going to match up against Hua Young a lot. Now you could bring her and Hua Young, but then in that case, I mean, I, I mean, you already won. You have Hua Young in your team. I don't know what the you know. Anyway, but like I said, this reflection is kind of dumb because anybody who's gonna single target her down isn't gonna like like. Let's let's pretend Hua Young's not even like part of the conversation. Let's say we got someone like um, I don't know, ML um, ML Violet, right? Let's say Riolu S threes her. That damage bounce back isn't going to do anything to him. It's going to like slightly remove some HP, and she's still going to be like near death from a hit like that, right? Like so, like doesn't matter who hits her, this isn't doing anything. And and most people like you can just bring a Kron and he'll AOE her, or just anybody's going to AOE her to death anyway, right? Especially today, again, she's kind of good against, right? Because now we have, uh, like, SSB isn't that big a deal, but she's there. Um, Rem is there, but, like, okay, who cares? Like, Rem AOEs you, and then you've got things like uh, Politus, who's just AOEing anyway. Uh, it's just not really that conducive. Um, again, so now we look down here, and she gets the uh, the whole 30, the, the was it, 20%? 30% combat readiness imp increase, plus the barrier. Once every five turns, which is insane, which is like absurd. Um, so once every five turns, then she cleanses all debuffs and all that stuff. And then on top of that, they have to get she has to get hit below thirty percent. Which, again, if you're running her with that artifact, uh, Hua Young's S three might not even drop her below thirty percent. And then if you take off that artifact, Hua Young might just kill her, right? So like either way, it's just not really conducive. Um, but like I said. I don't know who she's meant to like fight against. Like I don't know who in the meta she's countering or who she's good against. Maybe somebody's coming up soon that'll do something. But like she's not, she's not beating any waters that are a problem, right? And so yeah, because you have to because when you look at RGB heroes, you have to kind of look at it from different angles. Like all right, so this, she's a green, so she's supposed to beat waters. What waters am I picking her into to counter them? And it's just like you can pick her against waters, but so. 
Like, I'm, oh, I'm going to pick her against Rem, one of the, you know, more prevalent water units. But what, so? Rem's not going to do nothing. To, like, she, she's not going to do nothing to Rem. She's going to S3 her at some point. But, like, anybody could do that. Crow could do that these days, right? Like, keep in mind, she can fight against waters, but she's not countering anybody, not doing anything particularly exceptional. Something that, like, maybe just a Violet could do, right? Like, a Violet gets hit by a single target attack, and then he counterattacks. Who cares about this damage reflect? Violet just counterattacks, like, you know what I mean? Uh, so let's, let's keep that in mind. Uh, again, and now you consider one half, which is, okay, she's here to counter waters. She doesn't really do that very well compared to anyone else. Now the other half is, okay, who does she get countered by? The fires. Let's, th let's go through all the fires that she's going to get countered by. Um, and going through them, again, she gets she stumbles at, the, at Hua Young, which is, like, the most prevalent fire unit right now. Uh, and Hua Young's just going to dumpster her, right? So the thing she's supposed to be good against, she's really not that good against. And the thing she's going to get jobbed against, she's still getting jobbed against. So, you know, whatever. Again, this S3 is the only interesting thing. Um, basically, it's, like I said, theoretically, it's a faster Crow S3. Um, you get a bit of healing. Um, and like I said, I don't mean faster in terms of she has more speed. I just mean, like, it's more designed um, for you to knock it out faster, like... Crow just kind of sits there, absorbs damage, and then eventually he'll S3. Uh, with her, I imagine she's like her job is to like get it out a little quicker than he does, so she's higher tempo than he is. Uh, and then again, we've got the um, water thing here. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna pull her, and we're gonna I'm gonna try to build her. Let's just go with a ten pull real quick. I'm gonna try to build her. Um, probably just take all my ML Crow's gear off of him and then put it onto her because I'm not using ML Crow right now. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see how she does with that gear. Because basically they want the same stats. They just want a lot of HP and hit with a lot of their true damage. Uh, so we basically, yeah, we got nothing out of this. Uh, Taga Hells, I've already got like tons of those. And more Kiwanas. Okay, so we got Steadfast Gatekeeper. And Silver Rain. I think, I'm not sure if I have a max Silver Rain. Uh, Silver Rain's only really useful on, like, what, um... Ruzid and uh, the other one. What's the other one? Uh, I forgot what her name was. Um, the little fire one. She's in here somewhere. No, she's not here. Yeah, I forgot her name was. Oh, it's a five star. Ah, is it the? Is it her artifact? Oh my gosh! All that complaining to get nowhere. Um. I'm gonna see if I'll, we'll see if we get her. I, I can't remember her name for some reason. Um, we'll do one more, and then I'll go to single pulls just because I don't want to like. Oh, I think we just got her. Yeah. Okay. So it's in this batch, which I think we over pulled, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, we still got her early. We got better. We got her like way before halfway, which is good to me. Um, and there we go. I like, like I said, I'm pulling her because I like her animations. I mean, she looks pretty cool, pretty interesting. This thing back here looks like uh, that three-dimensional CGI, which that kind of bothers me a little bit, but it still looks pretty cool. Um, like I said, I like her animations. I have gear that I can just throw on her just to have fun. Um, but yeah, I, I really don't think she's very good in the long run. Um, so yeah, that's that. Is there anything else I needed to? Well, let's just see what we get out of this. Uh, more Armin's. Like, Armin is almost better than she is. Not necessarily better, better, but, like, at least Armin does something different and weird, and it's just, like, you know, more irritating. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. That's just me. Uh, but, yeah, so that's that. Um, let's see. Do we have enough for a... Let's see. Should we pull anything? I am seven summons away, so we're just going to do seven of these summons real quick to get another thing so we can get a Moonlight, because I can... I don't know. It's exciting to finally be able to like do moonlight pulls with my gold transmit stone because uh, my bellion's maxed out. I don't have to like spend a bunch of golds on her. Let's see if we get a five star out of this. That'd be hilarious. Okay, I think uh, one, two more, one and two. Okay. Well, we didn't get a single one of uh, that speed girl. Uh, let's go here. We'll get a thing from the shop. I know my slow internet is uh, on full display for everybody. Uh, Galaxy coins is not what I wanted to do. Um, I gotta take this. Uh, well, here we are. Okay, let's go to back to the summon. Get away. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. But yeah, like I said, I think she'll be fun to use. Um, I don't think she's gonna replace Crow. I'm probably gonna run her on. 
like I said, a speed, uh, uh, not not like I'm probably gonna run her triple HP, like neck, um, neck ring and, and boots maybe, because I think that 30% CR push might help. But again, they're probably just not gonna focus her down. So that's never like this. The only like again, let's let's go back to this, one 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 run last time. Uh, when health is less than yeah. So the only person who will get this to go off consistently like early on is probably going to be Hua Young or like ML Violet and even then I wouldn't waste an ML Violet on a Eula right his S3 I would just pop someone else and leave her there because she's not going to do anything um, that being said uh, like I said I'm probably going to run her on something like a um, an Aureus because again what this what this does is it kind of gives her that priority so once like take Crow. Crow hits that like 30% threshold, and that's kind of where you want to S3 with him when he's at around 30%. But sometimes he dies because he's too slow to take his turn. She's pretty useful because as soon as that S2 goes off, she moves forward, and now you know she has a better chance of getting her S3 off. Um, like I said, it's a little better than Crow. Like I said, higher tempo than Crow, but I, you know it's still not very useful. It's still not very good um, because for one, Crow comes with a. Uh, um, a defense buff, which just makes your entire team almost unkillable. Uh, I'm probably going to run her on um, Aureus as well. Ooh, let's see if we get it. I didn't click, so let's see if we get a 5-star. Uh, but I'm probably going to run her on Aureus um, just for that extra... Ah, oh, we got a 4-star. Come on, let it be Kawana. Or someone I don't have. Oh my gosh, it's another Zerato. Uh, that's fine. Uh, okay, so that... Pulling a four star did not reset this pity up here, which I thought was interesting. Um, but yeah, so like I said, like it's good for getting her to the S three, but otherwise this doesn't really do very much. Um, yeah, so running on Arius, I think is probably the best way to go with her. I mean, if you wanted to, you could probably run her on Elbrus maybe, and then just have her sit around like counterattacking people and getting like trying to like focus their damage onto her by counter by hitting them and giving them the redirected provo provoke however um i don't think that's going to be anywhere near as effective as just aureus because aureus will make everyone else tanking like up their survivability because uh, you with the provoke you're you're gambling on a 15 percent chance to like miss the provoke and now that guy is free to do whatever he wants and on top of like like first of all you have to roll the dice and hope it comes up 20 percent that you get her to counter they got to roll the dice again to hope that the um, that the buff sticks, and then you have to roll the dice beforehand in terms of like the grand scheme of like the whole thing. You have to roll the dice beforehand, hoping that um, you have enough effectiveness to to counter the effectiveness that they brought into that unit, right? So, I said, I, depending on how much damage she does with the S one, Elbrus might be useful, but I don't think she's gonna do that much damage. Um, and I don't think you're, yeah, obviously you're probably not going to run crit on her because she doesn't crit with this. Unless, oh, wait a minute, let's, let's take a look at this. Yeah, cannot trigger a critical hit, so. Um, like I said, that, that kind of, that kills her damage potential for the S1, right? This max health scaling thing isn't really useful because you're not going to build crit, so you can build more health to get this to do more damage. Um, and if you build crit, it's being wasted here, so, you know. Please, please don't run her on crit. And if you're not running her on crit, her S1's not going to do any damage. And um, I'm not sure why they gave her this. Um, so, you know. There's a lot of... Oh, wait a minute. Do you see this? Did they change how the pity system works? No, wait. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm dumb. Oh, my gosh. I should have done one pulls, right? Because this means that, like, I, pulled a ten I did a 10 pull. And in that 10 pull, one of them was her. And then after that one that I pulled her, the game pulled nine more times because this is supposed to be 120, and I did nine pulls after I got her. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. That's so sad. Um, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, the next thing I'm probably going to do is going to upload uh, today's Guild War. Um, I don't know if I'm going to upload that today or tomorrow, but that's what I'm going to have to record next. And then after that, I need to get my, guild, my uh, RTA thing down because... Uh, that is not done. <laughs> um, I don't even have the. I don't. I didn't finish the the last three matches, so I'm still unplaced, and hopefully I can do that before the season ends. Uh, but yeah, until next time.